Hey everyone, God bless you. This is yours truly, Pastor Nate, and I am coming with another food presentation. Food according to the Bible. Now today, let's just jump into it. I have a T-bone steak. Y'all know I've been going out to eat when I would do these, and you know that food was very expensive. So Pastor Nate decided to cook. Yes, I didn't go outside on the grill, y'all, and, and cook the steak, but this steak was cooked in my oven this is a t-bone steak beef and here i have a dinner roll and i have some broccoli and cauliflower and i have sweet potatoes yes it's not like a potato pie or candied yams i just peel some fresh potatoes and cut them up put them in the oven put a little cinnamon on them yes that's a natural herb and i put a little butter on there let's get into it. the main thing on here i want to talk about is the beef leviticus 11 and 4 you can only eat animals that chew the cud or eat the grass and have a divided hook. So beef fits that category. Cow, cattle fits that category. Let me taste this here steak here. Of course, quite delicious. I cooked it from home, right? And I got some eight one steak sauce I'm gonna go ahead and put on here. So it has to be both. It has to have a divided hook and it has to eat the cud or the grass. So rabbit, rabbit chews the hook cud, but it does not have a divided hoof. A pig has a divided hoof, but it doesn't eat the cud. So rabbit and pig would not qualify as kosher foods. Now Deuteronomy 14 and 4 gives you a list of what you can eat. An ox was on that list, or cattle, uh, ox is of the cattle family, the bovine family, if you will. So it would qualify. And according to research, 21% of beef in the world is consumed by the U.S. And we're on the top of the list uh, from that list of countries. So the U.S. consumes a lot of beef. Now I do have broccoli and cauliflower here. And we know that's acceptable because that's vegetables, it's from the earth. I cooked this and this was really easy, it was frozen, you know, I just took it out. I didn't even put it in the microwave, I just put a little butter on it, a little salt and pepper and steamed it. Our beef is considered as red meat and we know red meat is not really good for you. It can cause some health issues if you consume too much of it. Anything is bad for you if you consume too much of it, right? Typically people eat steak on special occasions. If you're going out on a date or if you're going to a banquet or something, steak is not a common food. At least in my household it isn't. I don't know. You may be rich. You may can afford it. Then I have this roll here. It's got yeast in it. So under the law, this wouldn't be accepted. Then I have sweet potatoes here from the earth. Natural, cinnamon is natural. Now going back to the beef. When I go out to eat, if I go out to eat a steak at a restaurant, I like it medium well. But I advise you to always look at the chart because medium well might be one thing at a, one restaurant, you go to another one, it might not be as medium well. <laughs> I've experienced that. I mean, I told them one time medium well and they brought it back like they just attacked the cow and cut the steak out of it and put it on the plate. Ah, y'all let them talk. As you can see on the chart here, medium well to me, to me that has just a little bit too much pink in it. I like it done just a little more. If I'm going to do pink, just a slight punch, just a very, very slight faint pink. Not too much. Can't handle all that blood. How do you like your beef? I mean, I don't even know why they have rare on there. That's just basically raw. Then I have lemonade here. Now, we know lemons are from the earth, but the problem is when you get lemonade, it might have too much sugar in there. 28 grams of sugar, yeah, that's kind of a lot of sugar. I would normally put just a little water in here to kind of dilute the sweetness. I got this from Walmart. 
market side is like when you go into Walmart where the salads are typically you can get this lemonade this lemonade is very good I would recommend it. it might be a little bit too sweet for some of you so if it is just get you a little water and dilute it right I mean you've drunk lemons in water right now let's go back to the beef in the Bible they celebrate it with beef I don't know if they particularly use steak or oxtails or tripe cow tongue I don't know what part of the cow they ate but beef was a big commodity in the Bible Luke 15 and 23 y'all remember the prodigal son when he came back home the father instructed them to go and get the uh, a fat calf and bring it so we can celebrate my son returning home so that's another indication that beef was acceptable also in Leviticus 27 and 32 beef or cattle was also the tithe so if you were a farmer in the Old Testament and you had land crops animals you were required to pay tithes mm -hmm. yeah and according to scripture in that particular verse every tenth animal from the herd was required to be a tithe and I taught on this before in the live uh, show on the smart show so if you had 12 cows you were to give one tenth of that one cow if you had 15 cows you were to give one right because it's one out of every 10 if you had 20 cows then you would offer two cows for the tithe that's how the tithe work in this particular instance if the farmers didn't have enough cows if they had six cows or eight cows they weren't particularly required to tithe off of that herd because it wasn't enough to make a tent uh, see they're not going to teach it like that that's what the scripture says read it Leviticus 27 32 is in there I'm not making this stuff up now that was under the law now I preachers ask you to tithe on whatever you make it. They don't care if it's not enough income or what. I mean, God does bless a cheerful giver. In the world, we associate cows with financial gain. In the business world, those of you who work in the business world, you've probably heard the term cash cow. Yes, a cow has so many benefits to it. And they associate that with wealth metaphorically and in Psalms 15 10 the writer says he validates the statement that I just made he said everything belongs to the Lord even the cattle on a thousand hill well out of all the animals why did he select cattle because cattle represents wealth and prosperity so the writer was trying to paint a picture that God owns everything and whatever you need, he can supply. He didn't use goat. He didn't use sheep. And we know sheep were highly respected in scripture. Jesus was considered the Lamb of God. We're considered the sheep, the people of God. But in this instance, he used cattle. Because think about it. Look at all the parts of a cow. You got the steak. What, you got hamburger. You got cow tongue, you got oxtail, and whatever else on the cow. The hide, right? They sell that and make clothes out of it. You probably can eat everything but the moo moo. <laughs> oh boy. Do you like T bone steak? And if so, how do you like it cooked? Friends, thank you for joining me during this presentation. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section or shoot me an email. If you want me to talk about a specific type of food, go ahead and leave it in the comment section or send me an email. In the meantime, in between time, be at peace and not in pieces.